Hey there, Tina here from Miss Daisy Patterns. Today I'm going to be making these jingly little stars made from the upcycle sweater remnants that we'd left over from our Christmas stocking project. Now the pattern for these are free to download from the website. It's linked in the description box below. If you'd like to pop down there, pop over to the website basically, print it out and follow me on into the tutorial. See you there. Right, so. This is our printed star pattern that we've just laid on the remnant of the sweater. Uh, the sweater is left over from our Christmas stocking tutorial that we just did previously. So if you pin it in place and then just basically cut it out. Now that particular pattern should give you quite a few star baubles from the remnant. Well, it depends on the remnant that you have. Right, so you basically unpin it once it's all cut out and that's your star shape. Right, now to finish off the star shape, what you're going to ha need is some craft filler, some jingle bells. They were, they'll actually, you can stitch them onto each point of the star. You're also going to need some thread, pins, needle, some string, a uh, chopstick. And with the string to attach it to the star, you're going to need a darning needle. Okay, with a big eye. Yeah, so that'll attach it, the actual string to the top of the bauble. Right, now to put this together, you just turn it right side to right side. And we're going to be stitching all the way around. And we're going to be leaving a small section open just to turn it right side out. And the stitch that we're using is a back stitch. So we're back stitching it all the way around. A link to how to do that stitch will actually be in the description box below if you need it. Right, when you're very close to working your way all the way around the star, you're going to leave a space that's about two fingers width just to turn it. And at this point then, if you back stitch over your stitching to make sure it's nice and secure, because we don't want the stitching coming undone when we're turning it. Right, so that is the star stitched. And then just snip off each of the points little bit of the each of the points just so that there won't be too much of the material inside and then turn it right side out. Now at this point this is where I use the chopstick to make sure that the points are completely pointed out. Right. And then lightly fill the star. It really does take a very little amount of craft filler. You just basically put it into the points and then once that's done, you just whip stitch the opening closed. I'm using um, just the thread doubled with the knot at the end. And so that's whip stitched. Right, so that's the shape of the star completed. Now we just need to accessorize it. Now to add the little baubles, well not the baubles, apologies, the little jingle bells, you just put a few stitches to anchor the thread into one of the star points and then stitch in the jingle bell. I like to run a few stitches over each other just to make sure that it's in nice and securely. Though, and then you can just snip that off and literally repeat that on the other three points. The very top point is where we're going to actually attach the, the string to hang the bauble. Right, so that's that. So this is where we're going to, to attach the string if you just thread the darning needle. And you don't need to you just have a little bit of the thread at the top because you only need to feed that through to the top of the star. If you push it through and pull it out, then you can get rid of the darning needle almost immediately. And then just level out the thread, the string, so that it's um, even on both sides, tie a knot. Then about halfway up, tie another knot and create a little bow. And then snip it off to even it out. And that is your star 
bauble finished. Now, so while we're here, we might as well maybe take a look at making a different shape of bauble. Um, what about what about a circle? Yeah, so we'll make a ball shaped bauble. Now I just grabbed a circle here of ribbon that I had and I'm using it as a guideline to create just a circular shape. Right, so trimming it off. You can do this really with any shape, but I, th I actually thought a little bauble might actually go really nice with the stars. So again, just like with the stars, once you've the shape cut out, you turn it right side to right side. And again, it's even easier than the star of this one. You just backstitch all the way around. Again, leaving about a two finger space at the top. Yeah, two, yeah about two finger space at the top, just so that you can turn it. And then do a couple of back stitches in place to secure, to make sure it doesn't come apart when you're turning. Then turn it right side out. Great. And then the next step is stuffing. Now this one, the bauble takes a lot more stuffing than the star because you actually want to create that kind of ball shape. Right, that's it. Once you feel you have enough stuffing in there, just whip stitch the opening closed. Again, using uh, the thread doubled with a knot at the end snip it off and then finally attach the string to the top of the bauble just exactly the same as the star using the darning needle pushing it through and tying tying a quick knot then halfway up the string, tying another knot to create the loop, and then a bow at the very top. Right, so that, that kind of worked out okay there. I, I wasn't expecting to make that one. I just, it was very impromptu. Right, so that is the star and the ball bauble done. Yay! I do hope you enjoyed that tutorial as much as I enjoyed making the star and the bauble. Uh, just to let you know, I will actually draft a pattern for the bauble and I will link it in the description box below. But what I'd also love to mention is thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a big thumbs up and we'd love to have you back again to visit us as we're going to be having a whole series of craft videos every Tuesday and Thursday between now and Christmas. See you soon.